Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Tim, and I'm here with my man, Jeff. It is Aries Fight Week. Aries 3 coming down this Friday night. So we got a couple fighter features for you all. Meet a couple of our young prospects we've got on the undercard here. And joining us here today, we have young Joseph Hishma from Shield Systems. And here shortly, we should be having his teammate, Harrison Bryant, uh, Harrison Raymond, uh, join us here uh, real, real soon. He's in the process of getting it figured out. Joseph, how's it going, my man? You ready to rock and roll this week? Going good. Oh, yeah. I feel more than ready. Just trying to get, you know, the weight down this week and stay mentally sharp, mentally prepared. And, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready to go. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, real big card this week. Aries 3 goes down from the world-famous Cotton Eye Joe this Friday night. Jeff, you have been there to uh, announce all of uh, Joseph's fights, but they've all been uh, Muay Thai fights till now. He's going he's gonna to drop the big gloves and put on the little gloves for some MMA debut action this week. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, before we get started too much, man, uh, Harrison is here. Oh, yes. yeah. Hey, Harrison, what's going on, man? What's up, man? Sorry about there the technical difficulties. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. Uh, joining us now, folks, we've got Harrison Raymond, a teammate of Joseph Hishma at Shield Systems. He's also going to war this weekend at Aries 3. Uh, we were uh, we we're getting into talking with Joseph here first, and we'll get over here to you, Harrison. We've got a few things that we'll let you both kind of uh, jam back and forth on. But, uh, Jeff, yeah, we were talking about Joseph. Uh, you know, we've seen him in the Muay Thai uh fight so far he's looked impressive but now he's uh he's graduating up to the mma world he's gonna put on the little gloves hey, he's not just graduating man you know we were all wondering when joseph was going to make this leap I, I think it was a, a common question around the area uh we saw how dominant he's been you know uh in the stand-up game uh so it was a question everybody was asking but holy shit man he's not just jumping in he's i mean jumping in the deep end here against a a, a salty vet that, that's been around for a while. So, you know, yeah. kudos and hats off to Thank Joseph you. Hishma, not just uh, jumping in the MMA game, but ready to make a splash. He He's cannonballing in the damn deep end this time around, man. So I'm excited, man. I, I've had the same questions everybody else has was, uh, you know, is this guy just a stand-up guy or, or has he just been on the lowdown quietly, been uh, building that foundation to make this leap? So yeah, yeah, Joseph. Perfect. Yeah, no. that's that's perfect question to get us going, man. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about uh, your your ground game. That's uh, we've seen we've seen the striking. We know Dustin Garrett's a grappler. Yeah, I know he wants to wrestle me. I know he's gonna come out and try to hit me hard, and and then when I tr go back to try to hit him hard back, he's gonna want to get a hold of me and take me down. Um, you know, I've been I've been doing jujitsu and grappling before I even started striking, so I feel. I feel proficient there. Um, and, you know, my coach, Ben Harrison, doesn't just want to, like, throw anybody into the uh, MMA ring and do an MMA fight because, you know, they can get hurt and it's it's dangerous. So he wanted to build me up. He builds up his, his you know, young prospects the, the right way. You know, have me doing jujitsu competitions for a while. And then I finally did a couple kickboxing ones. And then now I'm just feeling ready to – uh to get in there and do MMA like that was the whole goal this whole time but uh just didn't want to do it like prematurely I guess wanted to to build my way up because growing up I really never fought anybody like me and would fight but you know that's not it's not the same thing as getting in there with someone like really trying to cause some harm to you and I know Dustin Garrett's gonna want to gonna want to hurt me so I'm feeling ready <laughs> feeling ready to go so is there any are the nerves any different here or is does it could you say you know firsthand a lot of the times uh you know kind of getting in there and doing the Muay Thai fights is a great way to to kind of get those nerves out of the way early you get in there you make that ring walk you have the preparation uh, like an yeah. MMA fight but it doesn't go on your MMA record so it's kind of a good way to get out there and kind of get your feet wet uh before it really really matters yeah I mean the nerves are still there for sure um Every time I walk to the cage before, it's always very nerve wracking, but it's all about just like staying calm and staying in the moment, you know, getting your heart rate nice and low. And, uh, you know, I, I like to pick like you, like last time I had a choice between an O and O guy and then uh, Jake Phillips, who was four and three, I believe. And, you know, Jake Phillips kind of made me a little bit more nervous than the O and O guy. So I, I actually chose him for that reason. 
And the same thing with Dustin Garrett. Like, I could have easily fought someone who was, like, 0-0 or 1-0 or something. But, you know, if I want to do this professionally and, and do this, like, I want to fight people who are more experienced than me. I might as well start now, you know? So speaking of just kind of starting now, Harrison Raymond also joins us here. Harrison, you just had your first movie Thai fight last uh, last show. You put on an awesome performance, man. Had a rowdy group there. Uh, really, really fun night. Now you're turning it back around, going for for time number two here. And uh, what I one thing I did know about you, and I, I guess I learned it uh, on commentary when Josh Kate was talking, is that you actually just were wrestling very recently uh, at the at, at the state level in high school. So it, you were already kind of tipped your hand that you can do a little bit more of the strike. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I wrestling is really how I got started with the whole uh, competition side of things. You know, when, once I started in a uh, sophomore year of high school, but um, still, I just even though I got the later start, I felt like because I, I worked really hard, I, I got to go to state, um, did pretty good at all the tournaments and stuff. So I got a good amount of experience, even though I only wrestled like a short period of time compared to a lot of kids who started when they were in like, say, elementary school or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I fell in love with competing, you know, against somebody else, combat sports style. So I was like, well, where can we take it from here? I was like, I guess MMA is the only way to go. But, you know, I'm going to get my feet wet, like you are saying, with the strike. And so that's why I decided to go do a couple of Muay Thai, like, you know, how uh, Coach Ben likes to do. So. So this will be your second one here. You have got Harry Reid in front of you, guy that we don't know a whole lot about. Uh, we haven't had his team on our shows before. Uh, he's out of the New Glory MMA camp over here, over in Sylvia, North Carolina. So over towards the uh, over towards the reservation area, uh, towards Cherokee and in that area. So he's not really that far away. Don't know much about him. We know he's trained by uh, former UFC fighter Spencer Fitcher. Uh, so uh, it'll be very interesting to see what he brings to the table. Have you been able to do any research, or are you just kind of working on your own thing? Um, I'm having some technical difficulties right now. Can you hear us or can you, yeah. uh, or... you kind of just cut out right there. I don't know. It hasn't messed up. Yeah. I, so... I was saying, I was, uh, I was just talking about your, your upcoming fight with Kerry Reed. Uh, have you been able to do any sort of research on him? Because we haven't seen him in our, in our, uh, region yet. He hasn't fought, uh, you know, on our shows. Yeah. So I, I did, you know, I, I looked up his Instagram or whatever. I did a little bit of research, but. As far as, like, where my career is right now, where I'm starting, it's pretty much the same game plan against everybody, you know. I want to I wanna pick them apart with, with, like, the game plan that Coach Bing gives me. And no matter who it is, it's pretty much the same thing. You know, forward pressure, you know, just keep on do feints, you know, quarter turns, got to have the lateral movement. And um, so it doesn't really matter who I'm going against. I'm still, I still got to do the same thing, you know what I mean? I love that mindset. Jeff, what you got for uh, these young men here from the Shield system? Well, I mean, you guys know, uh, you know, what my job is on fight night. Uh, you know, you guys don't see a lot of the stuff behind the scenes leading up to it. But on fight night, you know, I got one job, and that's to keep the crowd hype. And you two young men have kind of made it a little easy on me by starting out with some pretty good uh, fan bases, you know. Uh, Harrison, I know your your debut, uh, you, you brought it, it with the fans. Crazy. They yeah, they were rowdy, man. They were rowdy. That was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, and, and Joseph, Joseph, no matter what card he's on, you know, whether it's this promotion, uh, uh, other promotion that that's been at the venue before, um, I swear to God, like his fans are the first one, the first table sold uh, for this event was Joseph Hishma uh, jumping right, ju jumping right on that table, you know, VIP. So, man, what is it about you guys? You know, what does it mean to you? You know, so early in your in the infancy of, of getting started to have that type of support. You know, I, I've met a lot of guys along the way who their fans really didn't catch on until they realized, OK, this is really going to be something or, you know, they wait until that record's good. I mean, what is it meant for you guys to have this kind of support so early? Um, You know, it's it's great. Like, it's my family and I'm very thankful and blessed to have. You know, my dad, who always supports me, he's the one who bought the table. So, you know, he's there at all my fights, him and my mom and, and my stepmom. And, you know, I'm I'm just so thankful that they, like, support me through this. Like, they don't really, like, know what goes on in training. They don't really see me train or nothing. They, they only see, like, the result on fight night. But still, like, you know, it's a, it's a good feeling having people there to support you for sure. Harrison, is the crew coming back this uh, this Friday night? 
Hey, I'm hoping so, man. You know, they, they like a good time. Con I Joe's kind of a rowdy place anyways. So, you know, I'll pull up. It, it, it's a fight, you know, so let's go. It's not what do you guys think cool. about? Have you guys looked at this main event? At, have you guys looked into the guys in the main event at all? It's like a really good main event. Our main event is like really one of the best welterweight fights that we could put together out there right now. Any thoughts from you guys on that one at all? Or have you have you have you? Paid um, any, I've any seen attention? like some of David Robbins' films, but I haven't seen the other guy. I need to look up his opponent. Peak is a he's an animal, man. Peak's one of these guys that he's not he's not ever going to be the most technical guy, but he just he's one of these guys that just is a killer, just a, mm. just a very aggressive, animalistic type uh, aggression, and so it, it makes for a very good style clash. So we've been kind of checking with everybody and getting their picks on the on that one before. But if you guys haven't watched Peak, then it probably wouldn't be fair to get your pick just yet. Is this uh, Robin's first time going up to one seventy? He fought at 170 early in his career. He dropped down to 155 his last couple, but so he's going back to 170 now. So um, I think that'll be better for him as far as conditioning goes. Uh, he's had really rough cuts to 55, and I think he'll he'll probably have a lot more energy here at 170. He's going to need it because because uh, Pete's going to he's going to be bringing it. He's going to he's going to be in his ass real quick. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, guys, what about uh, who's been getting you ready for this one? It's been unfortunate that uh, you, I've been trying so hard to get Demir on these cards, and Demir is has proven to be one of the very most toughest guys to match possible because, I mean, it doesn't take long for these guys to look him up and see that he's just an absolute killer, and guys yeah. don't want to take that risk. Uh, so we weren't able to get him on here once again. It's very disappointing. Is he, He's been there uh, kicking you guys' asses, though, getting you ready? Uh, he was he was there a little bit. He hasn't been there as much as the last camp, but he was there a couple times helping us out. Then of course you've got Scott Holtzman over there. Uh, you know Ben Harrison is uh, one of the one of the best coaches. Uh, you know uh, in the game, really, he's just a, mm -hmm. an absolute uh, gem, especially to have here in Knoxville. Uh, mm -hmm. Teammate Alex Riggs also get you ready for this one. Uh, what talk a little bit about the uh, the the preparation for this. Um. It's yeah, just me, Alex, and and Harry here. We've just just, just been grinding, away. like you know, hard sparring, very technical, cardio, getting physical shape. Just we're trying to hit everything. Yeah. We're not trying to leave any stones unturned. That's now, I got a question for you guys. What what is the anticipation like for little baby Coleman on the way? Huh? Oh yeah, that's that's very exciting. <laughs> yeah, is uh. Little, yeah, I bet he is, man. So, as uh, with Matt, you know, we obviously know uh, Amy, uh, her situation right now. Uh, but has, has Matt still been able to uh, be in the gym and, and help out a lot as well? Yeah, I mean, honestly, they've both been in the gym. I mean, it's right. taken a few days to, you know, for, because of the pregnancy and she'll maybe miss a week or whatever, but they still teach the kids' classes. Um, you know, they're still there, like hanging out and. And dude, they're not really training, but they're they're there with us because you know that's the family. I was just about to ask, you know, with the, with the you know, we got these mega gyms popping up all over the place, uh, but Shield Systems has stayed, I think, purposely. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it seems to be uh, it's found its niche as more of a tight knit family oriented. You know, it may not be through blood, but definitely through uh, you know common goals and and love. Uh, you know, a, a close knit family type gym. Is that a safe, uh, you know, thing to say about shield system? Yeah, for sure. But I also think that like the gym is very open to anybody that wants to come in and, you know, even if they train at a different gym and they want to come to us, like it's still super open about that kind of stuff. But yeah, everyone there is family. The vibes at shield systems is like the best in, out of any gym, in my opinion, that I've seen like around here. Um, so this baby's gonna have a lot of uncles, it sounds like. Oh yeah, this baby's gonna have a lot of uncles, a lot of a lot of birthday presents. <laughs> well, it's an exciting time at Shield System, guys. Oh, yeah, no baby. doubt. And you know, uh, I appreciate you guys stepping on here. It's early in y'all's career, so I think that it's it's important that we start uh, showing uh, this new crop of uh, this new crop of talent coming up from Shield Systems. Because you know, uh, obviously, you had Amy and Scott were kind of the first uh, you know generation to kind of come out of there. Then you had Demir, and you guys are like you guys are the next generation of uh, young bucks coming out of there. So I want to get our uh, our viewers familiar with you guys because uh, you know I can tell you guys are serious about this and are going to going to pursue it as as far as you can. I tell everybody. Everybody all the time 
that, you know, even if they are, if somebody's like, all right, what's up with this guy from Shield Systems? Like, well, I don't know. I haven't necessarily seen him fight, but I do know that Ben Harrison don't let nobody fight if if they're not on the level to go out there and represent his gym properly. You're, he's not going to just spam guys out there. You know, I have 10 guys training, so all 10 guys can fight. It doesn't work like that at Shield Systems, I know. So no. uh, anybody that, that draws a Shield Systems opponent, they know they're going to have their hands full because that guy is going to have had to have gone through ben harrison's uh uh you know prerequisites to uh to be able to get in there and represent his his gym is that, does that sound about accurate oh yeah that sounds that's literally pretty much how it goes <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a quality over quantity you know exactly exactly i could agree with that for sure well guys uh we're, we're going to battle here this weekend friday night we'll see you guys at way in thursday uh, i'm gonna let you guys give some quick shout outs where they're due if there's any uh, love you want to give or if you got some sponsors early in your career you want to get some shout outs to uh joseph let you go first and you wrap us up harrison sure. uh, i mean i just want to shout you guys out for you know giving us this opportunity to come on here and speak um you know obviously shout out all the teammates and shout out everybody my family and everything like that but it's super cool that you guys are doing this letting us get on here and just you know talk and let people hear our voices so yeah thank you then, harrison um, have at it all right uh obviously i'm just gonna have to shout out eddie's health shop it's my dad's um so if anyone's in knoxville needs supplements get them from them and then yeah just y'all aries um everything y'all done for us y'all really just been able y'all made what we do possible you know like if it wasn't for y'all we wouldn't we would probably be having to drive to another state for a fight or something like exactly. that so Appreciate y'all for that. Like Joe said, giving us a platform as well. And then just uh, just my family, really, you know. Everyone who supports, just that that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? So, Catch both of these young men, Joseph Hishma, Harrison Raymond, this Friday night, World Famous Cotton Eye Joe. You can get your tickets at fighterkickswithanx.com. You can catch the pay-per-view at Spectation Sports. Gentlemen, can't wait to see you guys this weekend. Appreciate awesome. it. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Yeah.